Hello and welcome. In this video I will go over what you need to do to unlock the Shrine of Madrogan. But first make sure that you like this video and also subscribe to the channel for even more tips and tricks videos. Alright, first we need to get to the old Arkovia and pick up the quest Rovari Legacy from Amkala. You need to be honored with the Rovers faction for this quest to be available to you. After we picked up the quest, we need to go get three different parts to put into the shrine. First is one, just one ancient heart. If you don't have any, you can easily get one by just killing elite beasts or bosses. That shouldn't take too long. Second, we need the rune stone of Madrogan, which can be found in the ashes waste. And third, the spirit of Madrogan, which can be found in the forsaken waste. Let's start with the Rune Stone of Madrogan. Teleport to Blood Grove, and here we need to find the entrance to Ashen's Waste. The entrance is always random and can have a couple different locations. After you enter the rift, the stone of Madrogan is as well on a random location, so you just have to run around until you find it. It's smart with the star icon on your minimap, so you will see it when you are close. Once you found it, you can't make portals inside of the rift, so I recommend exit to the menu, start a new game, instead of running around looking for the rift exit. And next we need to teleport to the gates of Necropolis, run south and here there is three different locations to the Forsaken Waste entrance to spawn. Once inside, same as before, run around until you find the spirit of McDrogan, then exit, start a new game to get out of the rift. And after you got everything, take the three items to the ruined shrine of McDrogan. Located on the eastern edge of Estrakarn Valley. Here you can place the item into the shrine and it will release three waves of Chthonic creatures. And when these are dead, the avatar of Madrogan will appear. You can now speak to him and he will grant the reward for completing the quest. After this, you can also choose to attack him, if you would want to. But you should be prepared before doing this, because he can hit very hard. Avatar of Madrogan have two different unique drops, first the mantle of Madrogan and the second one is Spolders of Madrogan. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one, bye!